So in this video, I'll be telling you a story about Bob the Builder, hoping to explain the process of transcription and translation. After watching this, hopefully you'll, you'll remember, you'll have a good way of remembering transcription and translation because I know a lot of people simply can't remember it. It's too complicated for them. So I provided you a story that'll help you remember this process. Bear in mind that this video will not go into all the details of transcription and translation. It will simply like make a brief story, a brief way to introduce you to transcription and translation and remember the what the process is and how it goes. But after watching this video, hopefully you understand transcription and translation, how it works, what's its purpose, so that you can go watch the videos I will make individually on transcription and translation that will have all the details that you need to know um, regarding transcription and translation. So let's start off. So we know Bob the Builder is a builder, hence his name. He likes to build things, right? Let's say one day he comes up with this crazy idea to build a rocket. Now how is he going to do that? He knows to build a rocket you need to be smart, you need to have knowledge, right? So what he's going to do is he's going to go to his library or his library in his house. So let's say that's the top floor. All the knowledge is in there. He's got books and everything. There's this one particular, so there's this one book in his library that has all the information on how to build everything in the world okay let's pretend this book knows how to build everything in the world and one section of that book is on how to build rockets so he's gonna go he's gonna try and get that book but in his house this door is for staff only his parents only there's no scenario this door cannot be opened under any circumstances so he can't actually get into this room only staff or his parents are allowed to be in there so he needs to get that, that book, but he can't because this door is always closed, it's always locked. And this door doesn't fit under, this book doesn't fit under the door. So his, his parents inside can't simply pass him the book under the door. So what they need to do, so it seems like he has a problem, right? So what does he need to do? What he's going to do now is he's going to tell his parents to go copy that specific section of the book that's on, on how to build rockets. So it might be like one chapter, a few pages. So they might go and take this book, take it to the photocopier, right there, photocopy the specific pages that he wants, and now what he has is a few pages, okay? So a few pages came out of that photocopying. Now, now What's now before, remember, the book couldn't pass under the door. But what's now possible is that these pages, this chapter was thin enough so he can slide, so his parents can slide it under the door and he can have it. Okay? So now, first problem is solved. He has now got the paper. So very simple. They photocopied that specific section of the book, passed it under the door, now he has it. Now he has the instruction manual on how to build that rocket. Okay, so now he's going to go down to his basement, uh, to his basement, specifically his garage, because that's where people build stuff, right? So now he's here, but he's missing something. He's missing his toolkit. He's got a few tools right here, but he's missing his tool, his real toolbox. So now he's going to go and get that, okay? Because obviously you need a, a lot of toolboxes and things to build this rocket. So then he turns into this guy. He turns into the guy now, not this guy anymore, now he's got a full-on gear, he's got the box, he's got the box, he's got everything now to be able to build this um, rocket, okay? So you can see he's still got the little page, the chapter on how he needs to build it, and he's got his whole suitcase thing, all his um, tools on how to build, um, to build this rocket. Now all he needs, so if you have the tools and you have the instructions, now all you need is materials, right? So the last thing he's gonna go get is some materials. Here they are. Some bricks, some metal, whatever. He's got some materials. Now with these three things, if you put these together and you're smart enough to build it, but we know Bob the Builder is, then you can go and build your rocket. Okay? What I explained right there was the entire process of transcription and translation in a story. Now, how, if you understood that, you can just as easily as you understood that story, you can understand transcription and translation. I will show you how.
Let me show you. So his attic, his library, represented in a cell what we call the nucleus. The nucleus. All the information, all your DNA, your, your instruction manual is in the nucleus. All the information about you, about your body, how you look like, how tall you will be, everything. So in a sense, his library in his house was like the nucleus. All the information was there. Okay? Now, the next thing was the cytoplasm. After the nucleus, when he got the information out of the nucleus, he went to the cytoplasm of the cell. Okay, so he left the nucleus, and I'll show on a diagram below here right after. So right now I'm just using this image to make it clear. So then he went to the nucleus immediately after. The nucleus being pretty much, I mean, he went to the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm being pretty much any, everywhere except the nucleus. So that could be this, this room, this room, this room, but he went to this, this room. So he went to the garage where he's going to build it. This garage sort of rep, uh, resembles the RER, the rough endoplasmic, endoplasmic reticulum, where proteins are made, where things are made, okay? So right now he's in the cytoplasm where things are being made, um, and he's going to now... Oh yeah, by the way, so the specific name, remember? Transcription and translation. So in the nucleus, that process, everything that happened in the nucleus, so where he copied the a section of the book, that is called transcription. So that's one half part done. Pretty much what we covered right here is pretty much what transcription is. Then he moved to the cytoplasm, right? And here, what he did was process called translation. So transcription is copying a part of the DNA or a part of the information that you need and making it into a single page, which he brought in a specific instruction manual, which he brought to the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm is where translation is going to happen. Translation is the whole process of turning that instruction manual page with some tools and some raw materials into a product or a rocket. Now, believe it or not, all of these individual things I used mean something in the cell as well. And I'll show you right now. Firstly, DNA. The book represents DNA within the nucleus. All the information, right? That one's clear. Next, we go to ribosome. If you've not heard of ribosome, ribosome is basically the thing that that is like a tool in the cell. It's like a hammer or whatever. It's like a tool that you use to make things in the, in the cell. So a ribosome, his little package here, his little bag with all his tools in represents a ribosome, the thing that is going to be responsible to um, work like a tool. It's going to try and make something. And then we got mRNA. mRNA stands for messenger RNA. This represents the paper that was copied from the DNA. So a section of the DNA, a specific page from the DNA, represents mRNA. Messenger RNA. We had to make messenger RNA because we know DNA didn't fit through the door. And we had to copy a piece, um, we had to copy a part of the DNA because we know we can't rip out a page because then that's ruining the book, then we can't find the information again in this book. So we had to copy it and then send it out as mRNA. What have we not labeled yet? We haven't labeled the raw materials. What does that represent in a cell? In a cell, the raw materials represent tRNA. tRNA is pretty much the raw materials. So mRNA will code, will be like, it will be like the English language is going to give you instruction, bring some bricks, some metal, screws, all that stuff. So mRNA is like the instructions and tRNA is like the materials. So when this thing says bring brick, the tRNA will come. It will be, you will go fetch the brick, which is the material. And then lastly, the final product. But don't worry about these things. These things I will go into more detail with in the real individual videos. I just want you to understand the overall process and know that these things are represented by certain materials. So the last thing here, protein. Protein. So we know the whole purpose of um, transcription and translation is to make this protein right here. This protein can now go, so that's the final product. This final product can now go to a different part um, of the cell to go do something or go, go fix something. This protein is just 
um, a metaphor. It can be anything. You can this. This can be this product. He could have uh, Bob the Builder could have gone and made any product. So this protein represents the the product represents a protein in a cell that is made. Okay, and this was the whole purpose. First, you had to go find the information and copy it for transcription, and then you had to go translate it, translate this paper and all the materials and equipment into a product. You had to create, translate it all into a product, and this product can go and have a function within the cell or outside of the cell somewhere in your body. Okay, now let's go make it finally, finally the most clear it can be by using an actual cell. So using the ideas that I use here, I'll show you what it actually means in a cell. So if you know what a cell is, you know this is the nucleus. And we know, like I just showed you, in the nucleus we got the information. So this book, remember this roof represented the nucleus. The, it represented the nucleus which has DNA. The book is a DNA. We know the DNA has was, transcri was um, transcribed, which means it was copied. Because remember, here was Bob the Builder, he couldn't get into the nucleus, he couldn't get into that room. But as soon as it was copied and pasted, he got his page that was sent out because it, it, it was able to fit through the membrane now. And then eventually he got it now. It's not working. But eventually he got it, and now what he did was he went to this part, he went into the cytoplasm, everything outside this nucleus is the cytoplasm, so we went out with the paper and went to this zone here this zone right here um, so everything outside to so the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm he went he had the paper now and he had his tools basically those little dots there are ribosomes okay so ribosomes remember we represented ribosomes with his little bag so the ribosomes on this endoplasmic reticulum this organelle in along with mRNA and tRNA remember tRNA is the materials so all of this goes on here as you can think of this organelle is like the garage the rough ER so the rough endoplasmic reticulum is like the garage we got the ribosomes these little bag the tools we got mRNA and tRNA which you can't see there because they're very very small and you have to zoom in even more but all these instructions and the tRNA if you put them together effectively you can make a protein now this protein which is made right here, can now be sent anywhere, outside the cell, back into the nucleus. It can be pretty much sent anywhere that you want it, that it needs to go to function properly. So I really, really hope you guys understood this whole idea. I try to make a story out of this so it's clear to understand. If you understand it using this kind of diagram idea here, it should should make sense. And you should, if you understand it, then next, hopefully, I will make some videos in more detail regarding specifically how this DNA, because remember I said during transcription this DNA gets copied here into to, um, to form the, the page, the mRNA, but how exactly does that happen? That part I'll explain in a separate video and in translation, I will, how exactly does this page and ribosome and mRNA, and I mean how does this mRNA, ribosome and tRNA mix? How exactly? What's the method? What's the science behind that to make this protein? So I'll make videos exactly explaining that, but this overall process was just, this video was just a brief introduction, a brief kind of overview, and hopefully you got it.